Cyrus punks. Well, probably if I wasn't behind here, I could shoot him in the head. Now we get to see... Oh, that's a pretty good gun. Now we get to see how bad my aim is. Oh. Maybe not so bad so far. Sometimes I can't headshot anything. And sometimes I do really good. There's no real consistency with that. Like, see that guy? Oh, come on. That was his head. Oh, and because this was a striker pistol, it lit him on fire when it crit. And I don't think there's any more until you get upstairs, so you're free to explore this room. Which is good, because behind this desk is ID card number 55. So that's three or four collectibles, if you count four collectibles, if you count the blueprints so far in this police station in a very short amount of time. And we're not done. There's a few collectibles upstairs as well. Check behind the stairs as always, but there's nothing back here except the wallet and some energy drinks. Still giving us hat sands. <laughs> Come on out! How did I not hit him, like at all? Pretty much. Oh. Come on now. Hit him in the face. Using this as your post is kind of, kind of risky, because they you are more open to them hitting you in the face. Not that they can headshot you or anything, but do take a bit of damage uh, just sitting there. But they all have to come down that hallway to get to you, so it's kind of like a shooting range. <laughs> in this first room full of tables, excerpt number 28. I think for a really good while there, uh, we didn't have any excerpts. <laughs> I noticed, and now we're, we've gotten two already. And there's probably more. Hopefully I can loot these guys before I activate the next set of punks. Medium speed. Oh, let me, can I reload? Oh, I guess I did reload, and I'm full. Um, Let's open this up. Not that I need to, but the police station is really good for just electrical parts. So if you like electrical mods for your sharp weapons or for your guns, this is the place that you need to loot. And you do have to come back here. Uh, I'm not sure I cut out the part where I told you to go somewhere you weren't supposed to. Um, but there are side quests for the police station. It's just that, for some reason, Dead Island likes to make you go back to where you've already been. Uh, I think this will happen again in the jungle. Um, but you clear out the police station and then you'll get side quests to go back into the police station. Alright, they're around the corner here. Oh, he moved on me. I wasn't quick enough. Oh, come on, I shot you in the face. There we go. Here's the next room. Full of... Crap. <laughs> There's a door you can break down. I think breaking doors gives you XP, right? <laughs> Not the way I do it. Good grief. I'm horrible at that. That's the first time since the very first door that it took me four tries. 
In this room there's a lot of punks, but you can shoot out these, um, this glass right here, which makes you more vulner vulnerable, but you can get to their heads easier. Kinda just wasting my bullets at this point. I don't see any of them. I'm gonna have to go around. Haha! <laughs> You fell on Shein. Oh, shot him through. Oh, whatever that was. There is a guy with an automatic rifle in there. Dude, what are you doing? Oh, good. I shoot the glass out, and that was my last bullet in that clip. Ow. Oh. You die now. Wow, I can't shoot. Okay. I just go through phases. Sometimes I can headshot people no problem, and other times I can't shoot them anywhere on their body. Oh, there's auto rifle guy. Rage machine. <laughs> For some reason, named people with auto rifles have automatic protection, or a lot more protection on their faces than every other guy. Even though sometimes they're not even wearing masks. And on this last desk in the corner is ID card number 57. Uh, this is also going to be the location for um, some files for a quest that you come back and do. I'll be in this same area, except that zombie will be alive next time we come back. Making sure we have looted everything. Let's take a look. Got that guy. That guy has no loot. That one's not bad. Uh, you'll notice that you can... Can you? No. You can't use it right now. This is also a computer that you come back for. And let's go see about Jen. What the hell is wrong with you? Get out! You two, go! I just, I just tried to help. I tried to... It's alright, love. We're getting you out of here. Christ, what did they do to you? I just, I just want to leave. I just want to go. Fuck her, man. Bitch sold us out. Hey, come on, man. We're a team, right? We stick together. That's exactly why she shouldn't come with us. We all could have died. She fucking lied to us. I'm not saying leave her here. Give her to the nun. If we could head to the hotel. She made a mistake. She was trying to do the right thing. Let's just take the supplies back to the resort and get her off the island. She doesn't belong here anyway. I'll go look for the goddamn car. And what if she make another mistake? I don't think she'll be making that one again. church with Jen and the truck. Oh, we have to talk to her. I'll wait here for you. And that's all she says. <laughs> I like how Anything she's obviously help. been abused and it wasn't her fault. Yes, she shouldn't have gone to the police station and that was dumb, but what was done to her was not her fault. And then the guys are just like, Fuck her, man! I'm like, dude! <laughs> She's obviously been abused, and you don't give any fucks at all. <laughs> so this is one of the side quests that you get when you come back. I need something from the police station. It's a small yellow file, and you'll find it on a detective's desk. They were investigating the rape and murder of my wife and some... Asshole named Esau is the prime suspect. 
They didn't have enough evidence, so they couldn't bring him in. No one would testify against him. They were too afraid. I need to know what he looks like and where he lives, because he does not deserve to breathe the same air as decent people do. Will you help me? Of course. So you believe in justice? Good. I don't know, I guess people just have their own have their own prerogatives. I would be more concerned about trying to stay alive we than need to talk. than trying to get I mean, you know, it's justice for his wife, so I can kind of understand, but I personally would be more concerned about staying alive. <laughs> you showed a lot of courage saving your friend. She carries the fire of faith, and you must protect her. We thank you for the supplies that you delivered to us. Our days are numbered on this earthly plane. But while we are here, we can still do the Lord's work. And now we get an upgrade. So even though those guys are starving, uh, let's see if I can go sell some. Even though those guys are starving, we're just gonna keep doing side quests. <laughs> it was strong clean. So if oh, talk to her again. Yes. If you really want to prove you're worthy in the eyes of the Lord, you must do His work. The cemetery is being desecrated by the abominations. We managed to bury the brave ones who gave their lives to save ours. But their peace is now being disturbed. Our Lord wants you to reclaim the consecrated ground from the devil's disciples. Will you fulfill his wish? Yes. Make sure no foul creature taints the sanctity of this place. Alright, so now we have to go clear out the graveyard. Uh, what I was going to say before is if you are a character that uses machetes, um, the purple one that we just got from Mother Helen is a pretty good one and will last you um, a pretty good bit into the third act. Um, but if you do Tim's quest, you get the lightning mod. So if you're uh, wanting to put an electrical mod on it, you may want to wait a little bit until you finish his quest. Oh, okay. Uh, I think what I need, I think the machete that my electrical mod on is on is better than the one my toxic mod is on, so I'll probably put another toxic mod on it if I have the material. If not, I'll just do another electrical mod. Oh, you bitch. Fucking bitch. Oh, there you are. Kick him for good measure. <laughs> I think there's a thug over here. Yep. So... There's my toxic one. Oh! Whew. That was close. There we go, thug down. I think if I can get into this other corner without a bunch of zombies. Come on, zombies! Where's this other thug at? Oh, now I'm stuck! Not bad 
4K XP? I think that's the most concentrated group of zombies, plus you get to take down a thug with your fury. So that's where I like to use it. I think there may be one more group if we can pop over this ledge here. There's one more group in the corner over here. Why am I not using my gun? Ow! Jesus, man. Like a super zombie, super walker. Okay, that's great. Oh, this is dangerous. I'm dead. <laughs> Why didn't I heal? Oh, eight thousand dollars. <laughs> That was dumb, though. I should have healed, but I was was gambling with my life bar. All right, thug. All right. <laughs> there you go. I made that quest to look, look a lot harder than it was. <laughs> That's just because I wasn't playing smart. Shut up, Bruno. I'm not doing your quest. Very good. You are becoming worthy in the eyes of our Lord. So now we get Gabriel's sledgehammer. Or not. Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> Just drop this alcohol. I was gonna go out to Jen and store some stuff, 